Hello, everybody. Let's talk about feelings and how feelings work. And feelings can be actually quite complex. One of the more frustrating aspects of managing in an organization or working with coworkers is this aspect of feelings. I feel, I think, those are incredibly complex. And there's four reasons why when you have an issue or a conflict involving feelings that it can be so challenging, if not impossible, to overcome. And understanding why feelings are so complex in the equation of conflict and organizational stability, I think it offers a great chance to at least be aware of them. And once you're aware of something, you can work to better resolve it. So first is that feelings are difficult to foresee. If you have a conflict with a person or a potential conflict with a person, it's not like they're going to hold a sign saying, I feel this, and you're going to know in advance a better way to approach somebody, um, a different avenue to approach somebody, or whether to approach somebody at all. And that is one of the first basis for conflict resolution are to build a strong relationship or partnership. So since they're so difficult to foresee, the ability to plan, to strategize on how best to overcome them can be a challenge. It often comes late in the game. Little proactivity can occur in that regard. Second is that, is that feelings are difficult to converse about, especially between people who don't know each other or don't trust each other. So once you have this interaction and maybe some conflict, then you hope to resolve that conflict by having an honest discussion. And it's not that people with feelings aren't honest or don't enjoy honest discussions. It means that feelings can be so deep and so pervasive in a person that they're not comfortable with having these kinds of discussions with an individual, um, especially if they don't know how they're going to react once they relay their feelings to somebody. Or, importantly, they don't trust that once that person has this information that they're going to use this information to the benefit or detriment of the relationship. For example, if you tell somebody, I feel this or I feel that, um, and it's embarrassing for them to either express it to you or for you to hear it, for you to express it to somebody else, then you're going to be much more guarded about sharing that information. If you don't share that information in a relationship, it's hard to resolve a situation if you don't address it. Third is that feelings often mask the real reason for the issue of the conflict. And the great example is if, if your spouse is mad at you, um, they may not give you the real reason that they're mad at you. Like, and they may say something like, I called you twice and you didn't answer. But maybe their real feelings are that they suspect that you are somewhere that you shouldn't be. And so rather than actually confronting with you, you with that and then making you feel that they're um, trying to control you, then they're, they're mask their feelings into some other aspect. So since feelings often are masked and not really expressed, it's more difficult to resolve it. And last is that feelings involve emotions. And we know that emotions are not reasonable and rational. And therefore, it's hard to use logic to, to resolve issues of feelings. This is a really important part. If you have an issue with somebody, for instance, if somebody says one plus one is two, and somebody else says one plus one is three, then reasonably and logically, you can solve the issue by showcasing how one, if you have one apple and add another apple, then you're going to have two and not three. That's an easy way to resolve it. But when you get into I feel or you make me feel, then you can see that it's going to be much more difficult because you don't have a logical answer to what vexes a person. So that's why feelings work and why feelings are so challenging and difficult to overcome. They're difficult to foresee. Second is they're difficult to converse about because people aren't going to convey to you their feelings if they don't know or trust you. Third is they often mask the real reason for the issue of conflict. And lastly, they involve emotions and emotions can be so difficult because you can't use logic to resolve them. Hope this gives you an idea of why feelings are so challenging and, and uh, it'll help you in the future to address issues between people that involve feelings and you know that you're going to have to strategize in a different manner. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the day.